Let us take up the question number 12.7. What has been asked in this question? Let us look at it. Give condensed and bond lined structural formulas and identify the functional group or groups present if any. So, in this question, they are asking us to do these things. We are supposed to write the condensed formula. Then we need to write bond line structural formula. And also need to identify the functional group or if more than one is present, we need to identify the multiple functional groups that are present for the compounds that would be given to us. So, this is the question. In that, this is the compound that they have given to us. The compound reads as 2, 2, 4 trimethylpentane. Now, as we can understand from the structure, this is a saturated hydrocarbon because N is written and pent that means it is containing 5 carbon atoms and not only that it is also having methyl group and it is containing 3 methyl groups so therefore trimethyl and where is the location of these methyl group with respect to second carbon atom there are 2 methyls attached and with respect to the fourth carbon atom there is one more or the third methyl group attached. So what shall we do is, first we will write the expanded form of this. So based on that we will be able to write the condensed formula. Based on that we will also be able to write the bond line formula and as we can see in the structure the substituent group given to us is methyl. So that is the functional group or that is the alkyl group which is present. Now let us start doing one by one. So pentane, first let us write the five carbon atoms. Three, four and then five. Then for the last two carbon atoms, let us balance the carbon with three hydrogen. So that satisfies the tetravalency nature of this carbon. Then we are going to number from our left. So this would be the carbon atom which would be having two methyl groups attached to it. Then one, two, three, four, five. We are fixing the locate. So therefore this carbon atom was the second carbon atom. 2 comma 2 methyl which we have already fixed. Then this carbon atom, the third carbon atom is not containing anything. So we will balance this with 2 hydrogen. Then we will go to carbon atom number 4. In case of 4, according to this name given to us, the fourth carbon atom is also containing 1 methyl group. So let us attach the methyl group here. And then to balance the carbon, let us fix it with the hydrogen. So, this would be the expanded form of this structure given to us. We can go ahead and write this H3 as 3 bonds attached to this carbon and link with H. The same thing can be done wherever we find the presence of CH3. Now, to write the condensed formula. What do we see here? There is CH3. So let us write that. This CH3 is linked with this carbon. Let us write that too. And this carbon in turn is linked with 2CH3. So because they are present in the side chain, we indicate the contents of the side chain in a parent thesis. Means we write it in the bracket. There are two such methyl groups attached to this carbon. So, we need to represent it as CH3 twice and then this. What is there attached to this carbon? CH2. We need to write that. Then this CH. We need to write that. 
What is attached to this C? This C is again attached with two of the methyl group as a chain to it. So let us write it as CH3 twice. Though this is not the side chain of this, but still there are alike groups that are present. If we write it as CH3 twice, it automatically indicates that there are two CH3 attached to this. So one would be the linear chain and one would be in the branched chain. So this is the condensed formula. Now let us write the bond line formula for the structure. So how many carbon atoms? Five. So let us start. One, two, three, four, then five. One, two, three, four, five. And what do we see here? For the second carbon atom, there are two methyl. So, write it in the branch. One methyl, another methyl. So, that fixes these two methyl. Then there is CH2 as it is. That will be there here. And then for this carbon, there is one more methyl. So, give a branch. Either you can write the branch above or below. It's not going to make any difference. I am writing it above. So, this indicates there is a methyl attached. So, therefore, this would be CH. And then this would be the terminal carbons. That would be CH3. So, therefore, this is the bond line formula for the name 2, 2, 4 trimethyl pentane. And what is the functional group present here? It's actually the substituent group which is present and that present is methyl. The group present here is methyl and how many such methyl groups are present? Three methyl groups are present. So that is how we can write the answer as per the question that has been asked for this case.